All right, here's a new one. I'm out test driving by myself for the wifey. Uh, actually, I'm gonna drive it home so that she can see it. Today is Lotus's birthday. She went to get him some special, some special cookies from uh, not a bakery, but they're like baked goods. Um, I don't like this scenario because she had to take the FJ because the Focus is sold. So that means I gotta leave the Evo, which I don't like doing. I'm parked here. I'm 110% certain this is not a parking space and I don't care. I'll show you guys when I'm driving in a second. I bet there is no way, you can comment below, there is no way you will get it right if you guess, I promise you. Yeah, it's big. That much is obvious. How can I turn this fan down to make it quieter? Um, hold on. Okay. Well, hopefully the air isn't too loud, but if you don't know what I'm in, I'll give you a little hint. Yeah, I didn't see that one coming either. This is an LR4 Land Rover. Uh, I think they call it the Discovery in other markets. Maybe, I'm not sure on that. 2016, which I, I think that's the last year they made these, I think. I'm not, not a Land Rover expert. In fact, you are witnessing my first ever time in a Land Rover riding or driving never been in one I gotta say um, it's definitely interesting I mean it's quiet it's smooth it's a little like floaty but it is like a legit SUV I mean most Land Rovers are I don't know if you can tell panoramic roof going like there's like three sunroofs two of them don't open though so it's a 2016 there's I think 66,000 miles dash doesn't tell me it tells me a lot of information right now but that's not one of them you know this predates all the craziness of displays and stuff so I still got like actual gauges and stuff which I'm okay with that now you might be wondering how in the world did we go from Evo to Jeep to Land Rover well she saw one of these in the road like we were driving where were we going it was uh, a couple days ago we were driving somewhere oh to my parents we went up there just to see my dad for Father's Day and we there was one in front of us, like coming out of our like, not neighborhood, but like kind of close to where we live. She's like, oh, those look cool, what is that? And she started looking online. There was only two for sale in this entire area. One is already like under contract. Huh, a dealership that actually honors their word. Crazy, just craziness. Which is fine because she actually liked this one better. Kind of go over her first impression. She's gonna love it though. I just, I know she is. From the moment I saw it, I mean, this has her written all over it. This is her style and yeah, she's gonna love this thing. I, if I can get a good deal, we're probably gonna have to get this. Well, update, I still don't know how to turn the fan speed down on the air, but I found a relative. Got it back here at the house. First thing I noticed was this little dent right there. Oh good, the sun went behind a cloud for once. Awesome. I mean, it rides real floaty, I guess. I uh, guess that's kind of to be expected. <laughs> oh, jeez. Watch out, Lotus. That confused him, confused me too. No, you're not going, no, you can't drive. No, I don't care that it's your birthday. You can't drive. That's the rules. Oh, okay, 61,550 miles. Okay, so that's a little bit better than I thought. I don't know that I want to say a ton of options because honestly, I don't know what the options are or were, rather. Lotus, you can't drive, pup. No, you can't. I really want to figure out how to turn this air off. Oh, there we go. Sweet. Okay. So we can raise it up. Oh, okay. Close the door. Watch out, Lotus. We're raising up. I think we did. Yeah. <laughs> we definitely raised up. Yeah, you can see like the airbags down there. So it does. This is the off-road height watch out so this is the off-road height and then normal you can see it lowering and then you can do load hit it again and you'll see it's lowering even more Now, you can't really drive in the lowest setting. If you drive in the lowest setting after like 25 miles an hour, it does raise, 20, 25, 15, I don't know. At some point it raises pretty quickly. You don't really feel it happening when you're in it though. It's so like slow and like smooth. I mean, it definitely does make it a lot easier to get in and out when it's this low. 
And then the back does like a split. So if you hit this, that opens here. So like if you just want to load stuff. And then if you hit this, you can lower this one. And then I think, yeah, there's third row seating back there and some storage and you know, panoramic roof. Lotus, buddy, no, no, we're not getting up here. Would make a pretty nice pup truck though, I, I must say. Yeah, I do agree. And even the back seats, Lotus, even the back seats are heated, <laughs> got their own climate zones. It's like, okay, that's useful since we'll never use that. And then are they height adjustable, I guess? Why is that one lower than the others? No idea. So that's the thing, like, I don't even know what to look for, what could go wrong in this car, because like, I don't even know. I think online they have this price for 33, but they've had it on their lot since November. I think it's more of a like 26, 27, maybe even less. I kind of got to do a little bit more research. Reverse sensors down there. Oh yeah, it's got all these ca crazy cameras too. All right, so. So if we hit this, you can see we've got this like junction view. The left side and the right side. <laughs> you can see Lotus circling the car. So they're like up there in the corners. I don't think it has any more. I know like I've seen some that have more cameras, but I guess this one doesn't. I guess it doesn't have like cameras on the mirrors or something. And this is both really cool and really nerve wracking. When you turn the car off, see like this is how you put it in drive and stuff. You turn it, which whatever. But then when you turn it off, it goes away. Rather than the wife show up home, pups get all excited, and we say, well, hey, we're leaving again. I just went ahead and left. I'm gonna meet the wife up here. She doesn't know this, though. She doesn't know I have the car. She she knows I was thinking about it, so she won't be completely surprised. All right, sitting there waiting on the wife, and the car kind of scared the crap out of me because the engine died, <laughs> but then it said eco. So I guess it's like a start-stop or something. Oh, there she is. See if she notices me. She did not notice till it was almost too late. You almost didn't notice me, did you? Well, I saw it, I was like, oh man, that's just like teasing <laughs> me because I figured that was like, you know, something similar to what I wanted. Yeah. And then I saw the 16 sticker on it and I was like, wait, is that where? <laughs> Have you been home yet? Yeah, I went home, I've been home for like, 20, 30 minutes. So rather than you pull up and then the pups get all excited and asleep, I was like, well, why don't I just, we can still go home, but I just thought maybe you'd want to drive yeah. it a little bit, just just to do a little drive or something. Okay. Nothing in here melt or anything? Um, they're dog stuff. Where's it at? We can take right it with here. us. Yeah, is it just a little bag? Yeah. So we can take it with us. Mom. Oh, seriously? No wonder it took you so long. I was wondering how in the world I beat you. I was like, there's no way I should have beat you. Oh my gosh. More pup toys. I'm afraid to show it to you. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Things like right up your alley. I know, that's what I was afraid of. Did you wipe anything up? Yes. I've wiped 90% of what I think you will touch. So I think you're mostly safe, but I would still avoid your eyes and stuff just to be extra safe. <laughs> what? Does that not just like manually move? I don't know. Back in park? Yeah. Turn the car off. Oh, whoops. And it's gone. <laughs> wow, that's pretty snazzy. You know the rear mirrors windows, I think, are still down? Oh, shoot. Well, I mean, I got a lot going on here. There's like a lot of stuff to change. Yeah. Need it? Need seems like a strong word. Need this. Need it? Yeah. Like you need food? Mm -hmm. Get over one more. Let's see what she's got. As far as Land Rovers go, this is one of the more reliable ones, but it's still a Land Rover, so you know, I don't know, this button will stop working, I'll be like $300. I like it a lot. Need to have it. <laughs> Would make your commute to work awfully convenient. Man, yeah. It's, it's nice to drive. <laughs> She ditched me. Wow. Okay. I think she likes it. 
So what do you think? It's okay? I need it. I don't want to take it back. <sighs> There's the little cameras. Yeah, you haven't really gotten to get out and look at it. No, I mean, I saw it when I drove past it, but yeah. Yeah, and so you got little stuff like that. I think yeah. that can be, that almost looks like it, it might be able to cameras be there too. Out. I don't know how you turn them on. So it does have the side cameras. And then like, this is the back. So you can do like a little half open. Oh, cool. Want, and then you can. Oh, that's this. huge back there. Well, that's because there's two more seats back there, wow. down there if you want them. Yeah, I mean, you pups get fit in this that's thing. That's insane. You got their own sunroofs and stuff. The back seats are heated. Wow, this thing is crazy. That back seat over there is lower than the others, and I'm not sure why. I mean, he probably would help with the negotiation. Like, I won't, I'll, I'm not gonna let him stop until, you know, he'd give the barks. He'd be like, no, not good enough. Boys, you gotta come in though. Come on. Come on, Enzo. Come on. I know, come on. No, I know. Come on. Come on. So not happy. All right, I may have made an offer. We'll see. All right, they have copyright music blaring, so hopefully the door is kind of helping filter it out. But uh, go ahead and made an offer. Uh, I offered 27. I knew they wouldn't go that low. Um, they were asking like 33 something. The salesman's like, they're not going to go any less than like 30 because somebody already offered that. I was like, whatever, dude. Like, just ask. They didn't go much slower, but I got them down to 28,750. So I'm okay with that. Wife's perfectly thrilled with that. She was just happy to be under 30. Went ahead and forego the PPI. Uh, that may come back to bite me. We'll see. We'll talk more, but the Mint app new favorite app by the way if you're gonna buy a car strongly suggest you download that and have that set up prior to it i'm gonna get back up there and see if they need me all right waiting on to hear back from ge to make sure everything's good i mean there's no reason it shouldn't be but so i always like going through ge that's my credit union it always like they're always it's easier to finance through other banks i'm not gonna lie 100 percent they just other banks tend to respond quicker and everything not that ge is normally bad the reason i always deal with ge is because once you have the loan they're so easy to deal with these other big banks, if you go to pay off the loan early, you sell the car, it's just, it becomes a headache and I just don't want to deal with it. You know, they came back and they're like, hey, we got you at Huntington already and it, it would save you $10 a month. I was like, $10 a month for the headache of having to deal with Huntington versus GE? No, I'll pass now. The reason I was saying the Mint app is so cool, I didn't realize it did this. The minute they ran my credit, I got an alert. And what was cool was I told them like, run it through GE or whatever. When they ran it through fifth third i got an alert and i went right up to him i was like hey why are you running it through fifth third and the look on their face like how did you know what we're doing kind of thing they'd already run it through huntington too i couldn't stop it or whatever but it doesn't hurt your credit or anything i just it's just not worth it because i don't care back in the day it did ding your credit a teensy tiny bit if you ran through multiple nowadays that's not the case uh, sun is it doesn't seem bright but it's still kind of bright i mean unless some bizarro world where g wouldn't approve me which i can't possibly see that happening technically i've sold the wife's car but i still have it till next week so but that really comes down to debt to income and my debt to income is good so i really just i could not possibly see them not approving it there it goes to get dealer prepped i.e scratched all down jeep jeep almost bought one of them the rover's all clean. I'm guessing they're going to put gas in it, which is nice. It's not always a given on used cars. Good about this Mustang. Just uh, like hour and 30 minutes, hour and 40 minutes, and the wifey has her new car. Abby, I see you rolling. Oh, gotta go. Wifey's behind me right now. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see much. Uh, it's got a pretty cool headlight array. She's happy, as they say, that's all that matters.
needless to say, today was today was a weird sequence of events. Um, Lotus's birthday, obviously. Birthday boy. And I felt so bad not getting to spend part of it with him. But the good thing is he got to go to the mother-in-law's, which he likes. Um, you know, and they got to play and have fun. So that was good for them and exciting. Wifey should be here in a minute. She's just going to pick up some drive through on the way home. Evo's still got to stay outside, even though it's all clean, because the Focus is officially sold. Just waiting on the buyer to come pick it up next week from Texas. All right, so I realized I forgot to shoot an outro. We've obviously had the car a little while now. Gonna have several video, or at least a couple videos coming up, kind of talking about it more. How much exactly we pay, the whole finance, like breaking that down for you. What we like, what we don't like. Not bad for a brick. Most impressive, though, is just how quiet it is at speed for a brick. We've had the car a few weeks now. Everything's good so far. We're gonna take it in the Land Rover for its first maintenance, so we'll have some videos on that. We're gonna get the windows tinted. I'm gonna do something with the sunroof because it has this mesh, which kind of looks cool, except when it's really sunny out and you just want to have shade and you can't. So not really sure what's up with that. If you've ever had the issue where when it's raining in the summertime, so you have the AC on, your front windshield starts to fog. Super cool feature. Just turn on the heated front windshield, it goes away. Wouldn't mind having that in my car or, you know, power locks. We're not obviously not going to do much to this, but I do have some Evo stuff coming. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Appreciate you guys as always. And see you on the next one. Later. Oh, 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 oh,